I took apart the prototype, the 450 sized HB. <clears throat> there you can see the arm really nicely clear there. The lock block on it and it's aligned straight. And then you just put that back in there. Um, but anyways, if anybody has a NASA, I'll trade them a APM 2.5, which I just think is the worst flight controller possible because they have like, if you look at their archives for firmware, they have like 30 to probably 150 versions per month that people are scripting. <clears throat> and say you had 2.9 working at one point and you want to go find 2.9 firmware for your APM instead of the new 3.1 which demands all the new parts that the Pixhawk and the uh, upgraded compass and all of that includes. And it's just... I, t I plugged it in, I got it all set up. I turn it on and the motors start raging. I check my throttle levels and all my trims and everything and go back and, and again, the, the motors are start up on power and never happened before. I actually flew this before and it worked fine. I put it into the same quad, same layout as my F450 that it was in and it just won't work. So it lights up, it registers, some GPS is okay, does all the checks and stuff. But uh, honestly, most unreliable flight controllers ever. When you have that many people in the kitchen, I'm not sure what's going on inside these things. And that's a recipe for an accident, I think. So if anybody wants to trade a, a NASA for an Ardu Pilot uh, 2.5 with GPS, and that's a LEA GPS too. That's like their best GPS, supposedly. Um, it has the shielding here had to be put back on I'll show you that <clears throat> but it lights up and everything and the APM 2.5 has got about maybe 10 hours on it and the receiver is not included so anyways just a warning if you're gonna after flying NASA and getting it set up so quick I can't believe that I wasted almost a month or two on APM and a defective one at first too